Sorry about the mixed voice acting and narration. This is a one-man show for now. Last time on What If Sonic, our hero Sonic was noticeably more of a jerk. He blasted through the events of Sonic 1 and toppled Eggman. Now primed and ready to milk his heroism for all it's worth, he's let Eggman go only to track him down once more at Never Lake. A blue streak zooms across the horizon and through the flatlands, running on and around the trees, soaring across the sparkling sunny water and spinning through the mountains on his way. As the day hit noon, nothing stood in Sonic's way. Well, until something stood in his way. Or well, someone. Yoo-hoo! Hero! Sonic stops in his tracks to hear the voice of a mysterious woman. Those words were music to his ears. Over here! Sonic turns to see a camera crew fitted with tons of tech. Within the group is a tall turquoise hedgehog, fitted in a bright red dress, who is motioning towards Sonic. Whoa! Didn't expect to see a babe out here, much less one with such fitting words. Sonic zooms next to the person and puts his arms on her shoulder, whilst extending his other out for a handshake. Hey babe, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, fastest thing alive. What brings a pretty face like you out here? Oh, it's an honor, Mr. Hedgehog. I'm Breezy, owner of the up-and-coming network Breeze Media. I've heard a lot about you, Sonic. Breezy would go on to explain how she's heard all about Sonic's heroism on South Island, and wishes to work with the Hedgehog in the future. Of course, this sounded like money to the Blue Blur's ears. A chance to have his heroism broadcasted across the country. No, the world? Count him in. He'd be an idiot to pass this up. Any chance to stroke his ego. Breezy also asked Sonic about his current plans. The Hedgehog would go on about how he was tracking down the Doctor to bring him to justice. We all know the real reason, though. That's a wrap. Alright guys, pack things up. Breezy would turn away as she instructed her crew. Before leaving, she'd approach Sonic once more on the low. Here's my business card. When you're free, get into contact with me. I have a feeling a sponsorship deal will do both of us wonders. I agree, babe. Worldwide fame is something I can't argue with. Sonic leaves with a wink before speeding off back on track. With his detour over, he can get back to stopping the doctor once more. He finally makes it to Never Lake, only to find the mysterious little planet chained to the ground and covered in a metallic shell. Sonic grins seeing this. He can't wait to tear through it all. As he tries to contain his excitement, he arrives at a vantage point before jumping off and drop dashing in the air. He spins onto the ground before launching off an elevated area and soaring across the sky. As he starts falling, he lands onto the chain and boosts on top of it, arriving on Little Planet in no time. The speed demon lands in Palm Tree Panic and starts zooming off, through loop-de-loops, up the many hills, and across the emerald green ground, buzz sawing his way through the badniks that lay across the zone and freeing the flowers inside. He notices a group of animals huddled up in fear of a blue figure strikingly similar to a jerky hero Sonic. The Hedgehog pays no mind to the strange figure, and simply spins through it. Turns out it was just a hologram. The animals that were cowering thank Sonic as he egotistically retorts back. Yeah, yeah, I'm the best! Alright, low lives, get out of the way! A living legend has work to do! Before he can peel up and out of there, he's interrupted by a young girl's voice. My hero! Yeah, we've already established that! Now let me do my work, numbskull! As Sonic turns, he stopped mid-sentence to see a young pink hedgehog, adorned in a short green dress and blue shoes. She looks adamantly at Sonic with immense admiration. Well there! Didn't think I'd see two gorgeous babes in one day. Well I'm- Sonic, the hero of South Island! Heh, <laughs> guess I am pretty famous. Who wouldn't know of me? Yeah, of course you're famous! That's why I was so excited to hear we were destined to meet! Uh, what? My fortune card predicted I meet my hero here. Well, if cards like those are bringing babes like you to me, they can't be half bad. Why you tag along with me, good looking? Sonic picks up Amy as they run through the palm tree filled plains. Sonic shows off to Amy as she gawks all over him. Sonic's ego couldn't feel any better. Thrashing through bad nicks with admiration left and right felt great. Any rough edges were completely overlooked by Amy. She was too infatuated by her hero. Love at first sight sums it up. Anyways, the duo makes quick work of the many badniks that roam the area, and zoom across the lands. As they do this, Sonic runs by an odd sign. One that, after spinning, echoes the words future within the heads of Sonic and Amy. 
Before they can question it, they suddenly warp into the time stream before leaving it in an instant. It's like they had blinked, but something is terribly wrong. The once green grass of Palm Tree Panic is now a sickening dead orange. The clear blue waters are now polluted and dirty, and the once pristine clouds are now covered up by smog. Sonic and Amy fall back in shock seeing this place. Sonic? Where are we? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. The answer is not where, you fools, but when! From under their noses, Eggman appears within the Egg HVC-001. Back for more, Robotnik! I knew you would be back! A monstrous maniac like you couldn't resist another shot at me. Letting me go will be your biggest mistake. I chained the miracle world of Little Planet to the ground, and using the Time Stones, I'll turn a once natural present into a robotic ruled future. Letting him go? Exposition, blah blah blah. I'll put a stop to your ugly butt. Get ready to be cracked wide open. Sonic spins into a buzzsaw and decimates the machine, song all over it until it's nothing but a pod. What? Less talk and more action, you overweight geezer. You lasted what? Three seconds? Shoo away unless you want to get smashed. Only a minor setback. Your victory means nothing in the scheme of things. Yeah, sure, loser. Well, did you see that? I was great. No need to thank me, but you can kiss my boots if you want. Nobody's here. Oh, yeah. Well then, babe, we should get going, preferably a place with some fans. You don't want to miss me tearing this geezer apart. Yo! He waits as nothing happens. Sonic annoyingly turns around to see Amy look off in the horizon with a concerned look on her face. This zone had so much life just a minute ago, but now it's ruined. Relax, good looking. Let's worry about that later. Sonic, maybe we can use those time stone things he mentioned to fix this. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. But stopping Robotnik comes first. Well, alright. Whoa! Sonic abruptly picks her up and puts her in his arms as he boosts off to the edges of a ruined palm tree panic. In no time at all, they arrive at Collision Chaos, a very surreal looking place. Without hesitation, the duo starts laying waste to the various badniks in the area and saving the crowded up animals from the many menacing holograms. These lowlives should really learn to protect themselves. They wouldn't know what to do without me. Well, that's the last of them in this area. I can't find any time stones either. I wonder what those things can do anyways. Sonic thinks about these mysterious items. He had quite the rush when he was using the Chaos Emeralds back on South Island. Power like that at his fingertips was exhilarating. If these time stones were like the Emeralds, then oh boy, would he want them. He lets out a menacing grin thinking of this, his lucky day. But suddenly, a blue streak swerved around Sonic before spinning into him, sending the Hedgehog back as he lands right on the ground. Standing in front of him with a blue metallic finish, sharp metal hands, and an unrivaled jet engine is the robotic faker Metal Sonic. Amy watches in fear as she yells for Sonic to get up. She tries to run, but she's quickly picked up by the blue robot. Before Sonic can even get up, Metal Sonic starts his getaway. Sonic faces the robot with a pissed expression. Sonic, help me! Ah! What the hell? Get back here, you m I'll turn you into scrap metal for messing with me! Metal Sonic soullessly continues forward, ignoring Sonic as he flies off with Amy in tow. Sonic was too late to do anything, and he clenches his fist. With his pride shattered and his ego hurt, he looks onto the horizon with a sharpened teeth out and his fist clenched tightly. Heh, <laughs> you've done it now, Robotnik. Your fat, ugly ass is going six feet under! I'll beat the ever-loving life out of- Whoa! As cue for his bad luck, Sonic has landed on a fragile piece of land, as now it's fully cracked and broken. Sonic doesn't manage to get up in time, and falls down the pink corridors of Collision Chaos into a pit. As the Hedgehog tries to grab him onto the wall, his efforts are swiftly interrupted, with him falling into a warp ring. Just as the ones on South Island, he is warped abruptly into a strange, trippy dimension. He awakes on a flat platform within the middle of a lake, covered by a dark blue sky. In the distance are crystal formations and many planets. Sonic gets up with a sense of deja vu. Ugh, ouch. Whoa, odd looking place. Feels just like those special zones that I got the Chaos Emeralds from. As he gets his bearings and looks at his surroundings, he sees several UFOs flying around the flat platform. In the center is a strange gem trapped within a barrier. That thing is for sure to be a time stone. Sonic's instincts tell him that these UFOs are darting the stone. If he can get rid of them, he can get his prize. 
just what I needed. It's time to let loose. I'll rip those things to shreds. <laughs> With no time to lose, Sonic leans back, charges up, and speeds away, slamming into every UFO one by one. He tears them apart and nearly avoids the many obstacles in his way. The Hedgehog truly devastates the obstacles abroad, and in no time flat, he gets the Time Stone and warps back to Collision Chaos. With his prize in tow, he grips it tightly and focuses on it. And... Then he throws it out. What a useless tease of an item! It feels nothing like the Chaos Emeralds! Not even a tingle of power! So much for that! After complaining, Sonic runs off continuing to destroy every robot in his path and neglecting the soon to be ruined land. Whilst that happens, we cut to Stardust Speedway within a small building. Eggman has begun his takeover of this zone, and his newest creation in Metal Sonic had brought him an interesting prisoner. Sheila is captured and tied up, but still relentless in trying to escape. It's no use trying to struggle. You can't escape from me. Amy looks over and sticks her tongue out at the doctor before she starts berating him. Get me out of here! Why'd you kidnap me anyways, you jerk? To tempt Sonic, of course. He'll surely arrive to rescue his adoring fans, after all. It'll all be a trap where my brilliant creation, Metal Sonic, will lead him to his demise. You're gonna fail. My hero Sonic will save me. Hero? Bah! You naive fool. He's no hero. He doesn't care about you either. He only cares about the admiration you give him. Same with everyone else. I don't believe you. Well, let me tell you, the only reason I escaped to fight another day was because he let me. He's going to milk his heroism for all it's worth, and it'll be his downfall when I'm through with him. You're lying! Then let me shatter your heart as I show you. The doctor grins maliciously as he shows the cruel truth to a young hedgehog. We cut back to Sonic as he's continued to make it through each zone, one by one, destroying Eggman's forces and gloating his heroism among the many animals. The hedgehog also runs into the doctor many times, but takes quick care of him each time. He does this all without setting any zone on the right track and making a good future for them. The bare minimum and nothing else. They're saved after all. He doesn't have to make the air smell nice for them. It's quite easy for him, and at the brink of dusk, Sonic arrives at Stardust Speedway, a beautiful and rich city with highways intersecting and weaving everywhere. The looming threat of Eggman stays consistent though, as a large statue erected in the Doctor's image is under construction, it looms over the city. What an ugly mug! Now a Sonic statue? That's something we need! Maybe I can get these lowlifes to build me one after I save them! Why hello, Sonic! Glad you've made it to my soon-to-be Stardust Speedway city! From the many TVs, Eggman appears and televises himself to Sonic. If you manage to break through my defenses, then meet me on the highway. Good little girlfriend will be waiting for you. Before Sonic can retort, the TV shut off. I'll be sure not to disappoint Robotnik. Your sorry face is going down! Without hesitation, the blue blur does what he does best, boosting off throughout the many winding roads and destroying enemies along the way. In no time at all, Sonic arrives at the main highway. It orbits the large Eggman statue. It feels as if the Doctor is watching the entire road with his architecture. A storm begins to brew as Sonic meets a gate on the road. The metallic doppelganger, Metal Sonic, stands there, wagging his finger. From the skies above, Eggman swerves to the two speedsters with the Eggmobile. Glad you've made it, Sonic! It's time I introduced you to my greatest creation, Metal Sonic! He can match you equally in every way! Sonic sizes up this robot looking up and down before swinging himself in Eggman's direction. Is this supposed to be a joke or an insult? What a hunk of junk! Equal to me my face! You can't match perfection! You should've just ran away and hit for the rest of your life instead of making this embarrassment. Then again, you're only helping me get more famous. Shut it, you overgrown pest! Hold your idiotic blabbering for a mere second, because I propose to you a race. Keep talking, old man! <sighs> Metal Sonic will race you along the highway to save your little girlfriend. Don't fall behind, though, or you'll be eviscerated by my Eggmobile laser. You're on, Robotnik! Sonic swings his attention to Metal, getting ready to race. As for you, Tin Can, prepare to eat my dust! Metal Sonic looks back, unaudible, and simply glares back at his counterpart with hatred. With that, Eggman flew back, activating his laser as he boosts off, destroying the highway behind them. Just on cue, the shutter doors at the gate swing open, and the two speedsters zoom off onto the highway. Sonic gets farther at first, but Metal Sonic surges ahead with a hyper boost. 
The two are neck and neck as the road swings and swerves in every direction. The two run through tunnels and over and under loops whilst keeping up a high speed. They're evenly matched as Sonic begins to trash talk. So you're not just out talking no show. Well then, Metal, let's see your useless butt do this. Sonic charges up an incredible boost of speed and zooms far ahead of Metal Sonic. You can't do anything, so don't even try! The metallic faker, not willing to accept the feat, mimics the sentiment and gets back to Sonic. In retaliation, Metal Sonic releases an electric shock that sends Sonic flying back. Sonic angrily gets up before he can get hit by the incoming laser. The Hedgehog charges up a spin dash and zooms across the road, and builds his momentum back up. Metal Sonic sees his counterpart coming and spin dashes himself forward as well. The race goes on like this for a while, with both very close, but Metal still keeping a good amount of distance between the two. Soon enough, they're in the home stretch as they see a building at the end of the highway up ahead. Sonic starts to get frustrated. How could he be losing to such a cheap copy? Little Planet, Amy, everyone, they're on the line. He shakes it off. Most importantly, He's on the line. His fame, his reputation, his life, all could be lost in a second. You hear this, Metal Tin Can? I'm better than you! Now let me show you what I'm made of! Sonic yells this as he bursts with incredible speed. He gives it all he's got as he closes the space between him and Metal Sonic. Before the robot can react, Sonic spins into a buzzsaw and decapitates the head of the robot, destroying it. He then arrives at the finish line as the shutter doors close behind him. The broken Metal Sonic lays on the road as Eggman hits it with his laser, not even realizing. My creation! You'll pay for this! I hate that hedgehog! Hasta la vista, mister! Eggman flies off to his last defense as Sonic looks on before turning to a captured Amy, his prize. He swiftly frees her before gloating. Did you see that, babe? No need to thank me and all, but- HOW DARE YOU! Sonic's speech is abruptly interrupted by Amy slapping Sonic. You're no hero! I saw it all, Sonic. What you truly are. You ungrateful loser! I saved you! I'm saving this planet! What the hell are you talking about? But Botnik showed me it all. I saw your journey here. You may have taken him out of those zones, but you left them to rot. You even threw out that time stone. I'm not obligated to do any of that crap. I saved those places from Robotnik. Isn't that enough? Not when you had the chance to truly save them. It's not just that. He... You let him go on South Island. He told me all about your little plan. To use him. To use me. To use everyone. Just to feed your fame and ego. Why do you believe him? I'm the hero after all. He's the villain. Not me. Your actions here make him believable. Amy starts to walk away as she heads towards a door. I didn't want to believe him, Sonic. I wanted to think you were a hero, but I can't. Amy starts to walk off through the door and out into the cold rain. Where do you think you're going? To fix your mess. You may be playing the hero, Sonic, but you're just as bad as Robotnik. Amy walks off out of view, determined to fix this mess. Sonic stares off looking hurt for once in his life. But this feeling quickly fades. He grips his fist before shouting out at Amy. You could have been with the best guy ever. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. She ignores him and continues walking off. Sonic looks on and then charges up a spin dash before zooming off. No looking back. He runs through the rest of Stardust Speedway and hits the city limits as he arrives at Eggman's base. Metallic madness. He lets completely loose, zooming through the base, letting off sonic boom after sonic boom, which tears the place up. The metallic floors are shifted from their place and obstacles are decimated. The speed Sonic is going is destroying the entire base. In no time, Sonic gets to the most fortified area of the base. A little winded up, but it was no sweat. A chamber is high up, surrounded by flipping platforms. Eggman has to be there. With little effort needed, Sonic platforms to the top and enters the chamber. It's pitch black and Sonic gets defensive. Sonic yells for Eggman to show himself, but nothing happens. Instead, three small yellow lights appear in the distance before flying above Sonic. They were Hotaru Badniks, and they started shooting at Sonic from above. Sonic energetically dodges the attacks but before getting a good running distance and jumping up high. Once high enough, he spins into the three Badniks and destroys them. He lands a little exhausted, but plenty strong still. A door from beyond opens, and Sonic runs immediately through it. The room is rather open, but quickly an energy field surrounds the hedgehog, entrapping him in the room. A shutter window opens, and from the rusted metallic room beyond, flies Eggman within the egg spinner. Hello, Sonic! 
You may have made it through my defenses, but you'll be meeting your doom here. With what, Robotnik? This? Your last weapon of doom was better than this. And it was a bunch of stupid pillars. Oh, ho, ho. Your insults mean nothing. Besides, I practically won at this point. Once I'm rid of you, Little Planet will be given to me on a silver platter. The planet is already mine. You ain't winning anything. Your ugly mug is getting pummeled. Sure I am. Why are you fighting alone anyways? After you saved her, I'm sure your little girlfriend would be happy to help you. I don't need her, and I don't need anyone else. I alone will beat you, and I'll keep beating you until I make you snap. Let's cut the chit chat then. Say goodnight, Sonic. Eggman flies in with his mech. It has four pillars on its rotund body. The doctor shoots these at Sonic as he narrowly avoids them. Whilst he only has four, he can simply reload more back onto his mech and continue the onslaught. The mech may be slow, but it makes up for it with defense. Sonic is getting pummeled by the repeated attacks. He needs to find a way to land any hits. Luckily for him, when Eggman is reloading, Sonic can get a hit in. One by one, he avoids the pillars whilst landing attacks in between. Damage done prevents more pillars from reloading one by one. Soon enough, Eggman is only left with one pillar as he bounces around like a pogo stick. Sonic attempts to avoid these attacks, but ironically, the lost weight makes the doctor's mech faster. Sonic gets too cocky without comprehending. Eggman lands onto him, pinning the hedgehog to the ground. Sonic is able to grab the pillar in time before being crushed and starts to push. Not this time, Robotnik! Sonic pushes his strength to the limit and spins through the raw metal. Sparks fly from the metal being sawed through, and Eggman is sent flying out of his mech. Sonic sends himself high before landing hard on the ground. Eggman quickly seizes the opportunity to avoid a face-to-face -face confrontation with Sonic. He flees within a backup Eggmobile, and Sonic gets up just too late. That loser fleet already? Damn it! I have to follow that geezer! Before Sonic can continue to complain, the base around him suddenly starts to explode. Eggman is right to flee so soon. And I have to follow him now! I don't want to get caught up in this mess! Sonic hurriedly runs to the base and out of it as fast as he can. As soon as he arrives there, he runs down Little Planet's chain and jumps down from the temporal planet to the ground below. He stares at the explosion before his eyes dart to something. From beyond the horizon, Eggman is making his escape. He's incredibly distant, but Sonic tries something. He picks up a rock before revving up and throwing it with incredible force. The rock somehow hits Eggman, causing an explosion within the distance. Sonic sees this and smiles before running off after Eggman. He leaves Neverlake and chases after the Mad Doctor once more, leaving Little Plant chained and in ruins. Eggman may not be there anymore, but the damage he's done was exponential. Hope is not lost though, as our familiar pink hedgehog Amy stays behind, determined to undo the damage to the Miracle Planet. But that's a story for another day. For now, Sonic continues chasing after Eggman, which leads him off land once more. Sonic continues through the chase within the tornado, as the trail leads to another mysterious island, West Side Island. Eggman begins his next operation, and Sonic arrives soon enough to stop him. Unknown to the Hedgehog, this island is where the Chaos Emeralds now lay, and where the Seventh Emerald is soon to be discovered. And that's where we'll be leaving things for right now. Sonic City was rough, but can things turn around in Sonic 2? If Sonic can't keep Amy around, is there any hope that he and Tails will become friends? And what does the future hold as Sonic becomes more and more malicious? Find out next time on What If Sonic. Like and subscribe for more if you want to. And as always, thanks for watching.